I'm gonna unveiling it here. Get this out. And oh my god in heaven. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new My Damn Halls episode, man. And this one seems like it's going to be a great one, man. This package comes to us from my man out on the West Coast, Sean Presley. And I think we got a good one here today, man. I'm excited for it. Got a great My Damn Halls episode lined up for us. Only the one box. We only have the one box here, but it does look to be like it's going to be a great one. This is a big box, man. Like, here's my hand, and I don't have small hands, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean by that? I mean, they're not, you know, Andre the Giant size, but this, this is a big box. If you want a comparison, here's a random AEW figure. Yeah, so they're, they're, this is a big box. This is a big box. I'm excited for it, man. So huge shout-out to Sean. He's one of our Patreon members. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members. If you guys are interested in joining the Patreon, link in the description below. Huge shout-out to all of our patrons for the support of the MDT YouTube channel. But today, we have a very special unboxing. I can't wait to crack it open with you. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and crack this thing out of the packaging and find out what the hell we got. And the only way to open packages here on My Damn Halls is with one special tool, and that would be... The goat himself. So I might actually have to reposition the camera here to slice this open, but we're going to give it one little cut see right here. The reason I flipped it over is because the names are on the bottom. So I flipped it over, we're going to open it from the bottom here, so it should be very fun. But I'm excited to see what we have in here, man. Don't know what all is inside here. Go ahead and get a little slice. We'll slice on this side. I mean, the box is so big that we had to move to the backstage, and not the backstage. We're usually in the backstage. This is the main arena where the ring goes, but opening it up. Are right, we got some packing stuff. I don't know the best way to do this. I want to set the camera up in a nice nice position. I want to get it where I can grab it and showcase everything we got here. So, so this angle should work here. I'm just going to take everything out and then place it in front of the camera like so. So we'll use Matt Jackson again here and just leave him here and then we'll uh, we'll dissect it, man. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So excited to get into this box, man. A huge shout out to Sean again. Oh, I don't want the plastic wrap. I want to unveil the plastic wrap. You dumb son of a bitch. Unveiling it here. This out. And oh my God in heaven. Got some good stuff already, man. I see stuff. Man, I got a... <laughs> I'm just thankful, man. I'm thankful for every single one of you guys. I appreciate you more than you'll ever imagine. Everybody that sends in unboxings, supports the channel on Patreon, follows along either on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, whatever the case is, man. You guys are truly unbelievable, and I thank you so very much, man. Even if there's only five of you out there, I know there's more than that because of the Patreon, obviously, but I just appreciate you guys, man, so much. It, it just... Words will never be able to get across how much I appreciate you. So, with that being said... Let's open this box. You didn't come here for me to sit around and, and just sit here and, and, and be all huggly duggly. Taking off this wrap. What is this? I'm just going to take it one figure at a time. I guess the way that they're looking here, I probably should have opened it the other way. But uh, let's just get into it, man. First figure. WWE Elite 91 Rob Van Dam. One of my favorite all-time WWE Elite figures. Such a beautiful piece, man. This is a great figure. This figure is just... If you do not own this figure, go get it now. Do what you gotta do, man. That figure is fantastic. Love that figure so much. Getting into the next figure, man, we have a WWE... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to figure out. I think this is an Elite? No, this is an Ultimate. Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns with the head of the table shirt, ponytail head sculpt, the gauntlets, the double joint arms. He put the gold gauntlet on the Ultimate Roman, and it looks damn good. I like the way this looks. I See, I was looking at the boots right here. It has the toe pivot, and I was unable to see... Uh, uh, it felt like an Elite for some reason, but that's clearly an Ultimate. I think, right? Am I tripping ball sack? No, it's definitely an Ultimate. I need mental health. Beautiful looking figure there. Get this plastic wrap out before I fight everyone. Next up is the Elite 85 Chase. Aleister Black? I think so. I do believe this is the Elite 85 Chase. It's got the Randy Orton hoodie on there, which actually looks pretty damn good. You guys can tell there. It's got the spike kick pad. It's got the scythe on the knee pad. And you know what's wild is I almost had Aleister Black with a scythe on my pick pad before he even used the scythe. And now that he's used the scythe, it'll look like I just copied real life. But 
yeah, that's that's what happens when you drag your feet, Brad. Next up, we have the ringside exclusive Undertaker from SummerSlam. Beautiful looking figure. Now, I feel like a dumb jack A because they actually had this figure on clearance, heavy clearance for ringside collectibles on their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. And I never grabbed extra ones, so I am very thankful for this, man. This is beautiful. We'll definitely get some usage out of this on the channel for WWE action figure surgery and things of that nature. We have a Darby Allen body bag from the ringside exclusive. Wow, what a great accessory. Now we can drag two lifeless bodies down the street. Oh, snap. We have sort of a Fix up Elite 100 John Cena here. I do believe he used the Elite 100 as the base here, but he put the, you know, the blue and black HLR. It kind of looks good, you know what I'm saying? It actually doesn't look half bad. I actually like this right here, but that's an Elite 100 John Cena. Beautiful. Great head sculpt on that guy. We have an Elite Macho King here. Looking damn good. I fully expect us to get an ultimate of this sometime this year or next year. I think a Macho King's definitely coming, but beautiful looking Macho Man. He's got the scepter. Great yellow gear. Love Macho Man Randy Savage. What? Dude, there's some damn good figures in here, man. Unbelievable, Sean. Unbelievable. I'm already, like, you've done way too much, Brad. I just can't even. These unboxings, you're trying to get a grown man to cry? I won't do it. Yet. Next up. Oh my lord in heaven, Brad. You sent in all the interchangeable hands, man. That is, uh, that's just an extra step of just doing the extra mile, man. How unbelievable. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. We have... Okay. Uh, so, what's crazy and is actually really cool, is you guys know the, the hospital bed or the stretcher that we use on M on WWE Action Figure Surgery? I always use a custom painted white version, and now I have the official black version, and now I can interchange the two on Action Figure Surgery, or even use both. So this right here is going to get a ton of love on the channel. This is going to be used a lot, man. Huge shout out to Sean, bro. This is going to be used a lot on action figure surgery, no doubt about it. I think my other one was uh, sent in and customized by Mac Decals, who is a great friend of the channel, and he's also very awesome. His was customized. I'm very grateful now to have the non-customized version. So this is perfect, man. Beautiful. We also have the Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho with the pink jacket, man. You guys know I love a damn good football jacket. And this pink jacket looks incredible. If you guys don't know about football jacket and what all that means, uh, so... In college, I wore this same, like, Nike jacket every single day to a point where my football friends, or, you know, I played college football, so my friends would say, like, there's this one guy, and I honestly, it sickens me that I can't remember his name. I want to say it was Taylor. It may not even have been Taylor, but he would call me Good Jacket because I wore my Good Jacket every day, and he'd say, hey, Good Jacket, and it was just an ongoing thing. I know it's dumb as hell, and I regret saying it. Next up, we have an... An Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. This figure is one of my favorite figures that Mattel's ever done. It's like he he wanted to wrap up some of my favorite figures of all time and send them over here. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. This is, if I cannot say enough how good this figure is for Mattel. If you own it, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't own it, you need to find out. That's all I got to say. They could release the next crowdfunder with six Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar's. And it would, it would fund. It would be me. I'd buy all 5,000. Next up is Ricky Steamboat in the white gear. Beautiful looking figure here. Classic white gear. Underrated figure right here, man. Underrated figure right here. Beautiful take. We have an Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy with the basic head sculpt. So this is actually the basic head sculpt that came on the hoodie Jeff Hardy, I'm pretty sure. And I always thought it was weird that he had, like, the bald sides on the on the thing there. But it's a damn good head sculpt. But, I mean, I know they've reused it a lot. But it actually looks really good on the Ultimate Edition. I've never seen this fix-up before. You've done too much, Sean. You've done too much. And I see more things in the box. And I don't know how to deal with it. Huh. My God. We're still going. We're still going. Okay. I found John Cena's hat. He threw in the Elite 100 hat. Beautiful. Beautiful man. What else we got? We have the Network Spotlight. Elite Finn Balor from NXT TakeOver Dallas. What's scary is it feels like yesterday, 
NXT TakeOver Dallas happened, and now we're here, and it's like, what are we doing, you know? It's it's like, what are we doing here, man? Beautiful figure, absolute beast. We need more Demon Elites. With this formula, that's the formula to go with. Don't give us effing Daniel Bryan thighs. I think I see a note at the bottom of the box, which I guess would have been at the top of the box, but I digress. We have Elite Series 97 Omos, so we actually have... The WrestleMania matchup in the box. We got Ultimate Brock versus Elite Omos. And I gotta say, bro, I hope Brock Lesnar squashes him. I hate to say it, but this Omos figure is actually really damn good, bro. Really greatly executed by Mattel. And, uh... Sean, this is a fantastic figure, man. Thank you so much for this box, bro. I have no words. I don't even know what to say at this point. Okay. Is this not... Is this not a Ruthless Aggression Elite Brock Lesnar with a modern head sculpt on it? How freaking wicked. I don't think I've seen this fix-up before, and not in a long time, especially with, like, the updated Brock mixed with the old Brock, but Jesus Christ, what a figure, man. My lord, man. You don't have to do these things. We also have the entrance coat that came with NXT TakeOver Finn Balor. We got, oh my god, bro, the the Build-A-Figure Dominic. Build-A-Figure Dominic with his father, Eddie Guerrero. Beautiful Legends Eddie here, man. Beautiful Dominic Mysterio. This Dominic Mysterio is one of the most underrated figures of all, all last year. Unbelievable articulation, man. Thank you so much for this. I have, I have, I, uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's still going. Okay. Ruthless Aggression. Batista Elite with the Ultimate Edition animal shirt, man. Oh my gracious. What are these? These are AEW elbow pads. Would you look at that? That's actually a pretty fire fix-up. I like the way that looks, dude. How insane is that? I love Batista Elite. This looks beautiful, bro. Oh my god. What What am I seeing? Is this the last figure for my mental health? I, I actually hope so. We have. Oh my, oh my god. Look at that, dude. The Paul Heyman Elite from the three-pack, but he cut the... He cut the suit jacket and he's got the bloodline underneath. How fire is that, dude? The Advocate with the bloodline shirt. He's got the double joint arms. Great Paul Heyman figure from this three-pack, man. I love this three-pack. Excellent three-pack. And this figure is fantastic, bro. Thank you so much. What else? And then it looks like the end of the box right here. We have a note, which I'll read aloud to the class. But we also have a bag full of heads. Looks like we have a bunch of different ones. You got Hogan in there. You got Roman, Jeff. Got a Mox in there. You got Mean Gene, Vince McMahon, Batista, Kane, Brian Danielson, Darby Allen. We have an accessory bag. Looks like we have... Dude, what in the hell? He threw in the Universal Championship from the three-pack with the Roman Reigns side plates. Oh my god in heaven, son. Dude. Got the WCW World Tag Championship for The Undertaker. 24-7 title. Sledgehammers. Money in the Bank briefcase. Chainsaw. Darby Allen Skateboard. Brock Lesnar Championships. Tommaso Ciampa Ringside Exclusive Mask. Oh my god, man. Just, just, just thank you. Thank you so much, bro. I, the words don't, the words don't do enough. Oh, I found a top hat. I think that's for Jericho right there. Cool hat. Don't want to leave anything out here. It looks like, all right, I'll read the I'll read the letter after we take a look at this baggie right here full of cloth goods. Dude, I know for a... Dude, these are like some of the best cloth goods in the game. Ricky Steamboat entrance gi with belt. Amazon exclusive Jericho jacket, the interchangeable white one. John Cena top pick shirt. Bloodline We The One shirt from the Ultimate Edition Roman. CM Punk Larry hoodie. Vest from, I think, Bob Orton, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. Jacket from, I can't remember who this comes with. DX Triple H, maybe? The flannel from Brock Lesnar in the three-pack. Camera cut out. Maybe this is Mean Mark vest and Mean Mark chaps? Got the Mean Mark vest and chaps. A Seth Rollins Elite 99 jacket. Unbelievable, man. Hey, Randy Riddle shirt. Legends Edge coat. British Bulldog flag. WrestleMania 26 Sean. Legends Rey Mysterio. And Sheamus fur coat from Elite 97. Sean, I am going to have to remove your duodenum. You and Giovanni are going to have to check into a mental institution because I have no words for all of this other than I am entirely grateful, blown away. I have no words other than thank you so very much, man. I just, I appreciate you guys so very much for the love, for the support. Oh, yes, the note. We didn't read the note aloud to the class. 
Dear MDT, thank you so much for letting me pitch in for my damn hauls. Absolutely, brother. Been a huge fan since you reviewed the Extreme Moments Jeff and Matt Hardy back in 2018. I guarantee you, first of all, thank you for the long time support, bro. But I guarantee you that review was dog shit. I greatly appreciate it, but that is, that's wild, man. I remember the thumbnail to that video. I don't remember the actual video, but I remember the thumbnail. They're like up on a ladder, I think. What an insane set. I wish I had that set men on card autographed or something, but been a blessing to watch you grow, and here's to MDT's future. Best Sean RWF Figs. Thank you so much, Sean, man. I'm going to keep this letter forever. I'm going to hold on to these figures. We're going to get you great usage out of them on the channel. Y'all go give my man RWF a follow on Instagram, man, and check him out and give him a personal thank you letter. Of course, I will be, as as always, as well, but I have no words, man. Huge shout-out to RWF Fig slash Sean for the insane package, and I do believe he'll be at WrestleMania, so hope to see you there, bro. I have to give you a grown-ass bear hug for this package right here. I have no words, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to Sean for the unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed this My Name Halls episode. We're slowly creeping to episode 100, man. We're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never